Hello and thank you for watching my YouTube video today. Today we are going to look at Google Plus and circles. Adding people to circles and managing your circles and what circles really are. So let's start by logging into our Google account. If you don't have a Google account, create one. Go to www.google.com and when you come to google.com you're going to see this square here which you're going to select. Okay and you'll see Google Plus, you'll see search, YouTube, etc. and you can hit more and you can see more. But let's start by going to the Google Plus button here and what you'll see is on the left you'll see home. We're gonna go ahead and click on home. You'll see profile, circles, photos, communities, hangouts, etc. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on people. Now you can create circles of people um, either suggested uh, by Google based on the type of work you do or your Gmail contacts um, and I'll show you a little bit about the circles and you know basically what it is. It's essentially similar to following somebody on Twitter or creating a list on Twitter or following people on Facebook. So this is how you find people and then have you in circles. These are people who have you in their circles and then your circles. So your circles are basically um, people that you have uh, been following and in your contacts. Now, I have created several different circles, namely friends, family, acquaintances, following, business contacts. Um, you can see this one, and you know, a couple others. Now, say I want to create uh, another circle, and I want to create a circle that we will call. summer contacts. We'll just call it that, okay? And you can do that and hit add person and you can type their name. Um, in this situation I'm going to add somebody I know. You can add another one. Um, and I'm going to go create circle with one person. So now I've created a circle called summer contacts. Now let's say for example I want to add several other people to this circle. Well, what I'll do is I'll simply just and go ahead and I will drag them and I will drop them into my summer contacts. Now you ask what is this? Well uh, essentially um, this is basically a, a way to follow your contacts, a way to um, see what they're up to, what they're doing. Um, it's also a way to easily um, engage with them and we're going to go over um, that in a moment. Um, and we'll do that actually in the form of say the um, chats and that's you know the hangouts so we're gonna go again back here to people I'm gonna go to hangouts and I'm gonna show you how this is actually implemented so I'm going to select uh, video hangouts alright and you can start a video hangout um, on Google Plus and I'm gonna hit select start a video hangout and say I've created a circle of say business contacts or people who I'm working with on a project uh, for school or for uh, work. Um, I could easily add um, these users into my conference call. Okay, and um, I'll show you how. So, share the permanent link, bookmark, and come back anytime. And I want to send invites to certain people. And the people I'm going to send it to, like I said, they show me my circles. All right. And as you can see, I have my summer contacts. This is one of the circles I created. So if I have one member to 100 members, um, it doesn't matter. I can send a invite to these people to have a hangout. I can invite them and it'll go ahead and invite them. Invitation's been posted and I can share the permanent link, bookmark, and come back anytime and to have this conference. Um, so this is a live call that I have and I can invite other people. Okay, so in that uh, sort of setting that's how the um, circles work. Another way 
use circles work is if it comes to, to emailing and you want to send a mass email to multiple different uh, contacts at the same time so you can add your um, circle of people to your contact list.